Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is the video review for Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus. Optimus Prime's second in command gets his second figure in the Transformers Prime line, and it's a repaint of R.I.D. Optimus Prime. Well, retooled a bit, but um, basically, yeah, it's a Prime repaint. Big surprise, right? <laughs> But anyway, it's a decent mold to work with, so it's not bad. In robot mode, I think it works pretty well for uh, Ultra Magnus. Um, vehicle mode's okay, but uh, there are a few nitpicks I could make. But uh, first, let's get the big thing out of the way. Yeah, Magnus comes with the uh, jetpack, and it stores on the back of the truck. And it doesn't look too great. Um, what stinks is that's the way that they store the Forge of Solus Prime, which he does store in this TV series. And I think it could have been executed better. So let's just get that backpack off real quick. And now that we have it off, um, that thing is pegged in very tightly. So getting it off is a pain in the butt. That's why I did it off camera. Anyway, now that we got the uh, backpack off, uh, yeah, you can still see some bits of the robot that stick out a little bit too much for my taste. Like the what will be the shoulder pads sticking out of the back of the truck. Just hovering there. Another nitpick I have is the way the front of the trunk is done. And yeah, you can argue those are armor plated windows, but um, it just doesn't flow as well as uh, the windows on the RID Prime. Center that better. Okay. But speaking of Prime, let's get a comparison in. Here's the Arms Micron Battle Shield Optimus Prime, which is basically a darker repaint of RAD Optimus. And since this is my favorite version of the mold, I'm going to use it. As you can see, there are some differences between them. Um, with Magnus, they took off the smokestacks. I don't know why, but they seem to be gone on the series as well, so okay. Um, you can see the differences in the windshields, which um, I guess is one of my bigger nitpicks. And of course, these. I mean, otherwise, there are not a whole lot of differences. I mean, you could see a lot of Micron ports on the um, Arms Micron Optimus, but that's just common with the Japan versions. Uh, but oddly enough, they added the Micron ports um, onto the Magnus version for this one. Um, for another comparison, let's bring in the R.I.D. Ultra Magnus, which was an entirely different mold and an entirely different vehicle. And I still don't know why they just didn't go with this version of Magnus. I mean, it was well done. And yeah, he has a big hammer gun on his back, but it actually looks like it fits. And even without it, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Yes, you can see their robot bits. Um, you can see the robot thighs and feet on there, but it's not really bad. It's not as bad as having shoulders hanging out 
inconspicuously. But, um, yeah. For the series, they went with the prime repaints for some reason. And I don't know why. I would have loved having this Magnus in the show. Oh, but enough uh, ranting about that. You probably don't want to hear it. Here is Beast Hunter's Optimus. And scale wise, it's hard to say if they work or not. I mean, vehicle mode seems a bit small for Optimus, but. Uh, well, I think it works. At least it can. But anyway, let's get Magnus into robot mode and see how he looks there. Okay, now we got Magnus in his robot mode, and he's looking pretty good. Um... You know, he's definitely got a very show-accurate look to him. From those shoulder stacks all the way down to the toes. I think he will be a nice ringer for your uh, Prime Shell. Um, he definitely hits the look right. And I think the robot mode looks a lot better than the vehicle mode. Now, a lot of people do complain that his uh, blue is a bit lighter than it should be. Uh, it might be the case, but it doesn't bother me so much. I, mean, I can see an Ultra Magnus here, it looks fine. Now, he does come with the Forge of Solus Prime. This nice little hammer here, which fits right in his hand, easy. Um, as you can see, it's painted silver at the tip instead of gold should have been gold <laughs> and really it just feels smaller than it should be I mean I think it should have been a like the hammer itself should have been at least twice as big as it is right now but that's my only gripe well my own those are my only gripes <laughs> but yeah it's an okay hammer it works it looks good in Magnus's hands And he can even get a couple two-handed poses with it. Oh uh, yeah, looks kind of silly right now, but yeah, he can actually hold it with two hands. And, yeah, that looks good. Um, he has his shoulder stacks, which are actually missile launchers. And it comes with two of these little friction missiles. So you just pop them in. Point them down. Push, and they launch. Which is pretty nice. And you can even store the... Um, missiles on the side of his shoulders they just clip in which actually is a nice nod to uh, generation one since Magnus had those uh, shoulder mounted missile launchers well somewhat shoulder mounted missile launchers and I'll get into that a little bit more later um, his other accessory is this winged jetpack Similar to what um, Optimus Prime has, like the Beast Hunters Prime. And to get that on, just fold these down a little bit. Snap that in. Line the grooves up with the uh, 
sides of the truck and voila winged magnus and there are some more clips on the back of the wings that you can actually uh, put the missiles on as well if you don't want them on his shoulders honestly this is one of those things I don't really care about like you can barely see the wings past his body anyway and I don't really care for how they uh, spread out on the sides of the truck sorry I'm a little it's a little bit off-putting, but yeah, for quick comparison, let's bring in Armus Micron Optimus. As you can see, uh, they stand pretty well together. You can see the retool differences are pretty much only in the chest and shoulders, and the head, of course. <laughs> And yes, the backpack can fit on Optimus Prime just fine. It's not a big deal. But yeah. And then, for another comparison. Here he is with Beast Hunter's Prime. Now you can see there's a nice difference in size. Or the sword so you can see his face. But... Uh, you know, it's a nice difference in size. It they scale pretty well together. Then let's bring in our ID Magnus, and here's where you can see the real differences between the two. Our ID Magnus is actually a little bit taller than the Beast Hunters version. Um, the smokestacks don't like uh, not smokestack shoulder. The shoulder pads don't go as high on R.I.D. Magnus than they do on Beast Hunter's Magnus. And, but Beast Hunter's Magnus doesn't have all the mech techy gimmicky weapons, which is a good thing. You can see the differences in the blues. R.I.D. Magnus is a little bit darker, and I think that's the shade everybody wanted from him. But, um... Uh, I don't know why they didn't just go with this guy. In all honesty, it would have been a great version of Magnus. It would have worked. I mean, this guy's good in robot mode. I like it. It looks fine. Don't get me wrong. I just think this would have been a better idea. But anyway, what can you do? For a final comparison, well, not a final comparison, but... Here's Ultra Magnus with the Wreckers. And this looks pretty cool. You got Magnus, Bulkhead, Wheeljack, and Miko there. And they actually scale very well together. You got a uh, big guy bulkhead. Magnus is just barely taller. And then you got Wheeljack and Miko looking all pretty good. And yeah, Miko should be smaller than this, but uh, what can you do? I think this is a nice way to display the three, um, the four of them. But um, yeah, if you got. Bulkhead and Wheeljack, you want to get Magnus just to round out the team. Anyway, I got one more comparison, and um, that one is none other than the G1 Ultra Magnus. And you can see how these have changed. Now, yeah, G1 Ultra Magnus is taller, but uh, his legs are pretty brick like. Well, Magnus here has full articulation. And if you have um, R.I.D. Optimus Prime, it's the exact same as that one. You know, ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, hinged elbows, hinged wrists, hips, 
ball jointed hips, uh, thigh swivel, hinged knees, and ball jointed feet. Yeah, I don't think I need to go any further into it. But um, yeah, these this is a nice uh, little comparison. And G1 Magnus is actually a lighter blue than Beast Hunter's Magnus. So, <laughs> yeah. It's not like they've really done too bad with the color scheme. I like it. It works. Magnus looks pretty good. And this is a nice little comparison of how Ultra Magnus has evolved over the years. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. And I'll see you guys again another time. Take care, have fun, and bye-bye.